I bless you, my dear sons and daughters in the Lord. May the joy of the Lord forever be your strength. Maximize your potentials. Maximize your potentials. This morning, I want to tell you something. God has deposited so much inside of you. And I want to tell you, you are not created to be poor. But you may be born poor. Your problem is what? The inability to maximize your potentials. The inability for you to see far. Remember, you cannot go far if you can't see far. Success that you see people achieve is as a result of hard work. Breakthrough that you see people achieve is as a result of hard work. Every door is meant to open depending on the person standing in front of the door. You still believe that life does not bow to comedians, it bows to commanders. Child of God, what are you seeing in your land of promise? Are you seeing a land filled with milk and honey? Or are you seeing giant? Let me tell you, every promised land has a giant. Don't allow giant in your land of promise to intimidate you. Don't allow your family background to keep your back on the ground. See big vision and dream big. Do you know the reason why God centralized power on man? Are you not surprised that the moment God created man, the work of creation stopped, and the seventh day God rested? Do you know the meaning? God has empowered you unto transcendent for you to be a co-creator. God has empowered you to, for you to be a great achiever. Irrespective of your family background, step out of your circle and make impact. Let me tell you, who is good luck, Jonathan? The son of a poor man, but he later became the president of Nigeria. Good number of them. The governors you see today read their family background. Some of them were children of, of catkis, people like Willie Obiano and the headmasters. But what happened? They decided to step out of their circle. Let me tell you, my children, life is waiting for those who will give it a meaning. Step out of your circle and do what? And work very, very hard. Hard work pays because there is no free gift in the realm of the spirit, even in the realm of the physical. Remember, life is not governed by miracle. It is governed by principle. If you want miracle, you must follow the principle that will take you to miracle. My children, grace is built on nature. God who created you cannot save you without you. I repeat again, maximize your potentials. You may be born poor, but you are not created to be poor. Today, don't blame anybody because you are not accepted. Don't blame anybody because you are rejected. Let me tell you the honest truth. Nobody will believe in you without impact. Nobody will believe in you uh, without seeing evidence. That's why you must avoid the blame game. Why must, you, uh, uh, why must you blame others that they refuse to help you? It is, it is not a must. I want you to see, to see across the border. Remember, to apportion blame is to abandon fame. My children, God has deposited so much inside of you. He has given you enough capacity for you to be enlarged, for you to go global. Never mind what is happening in your life, you are the one that will maximize it. God has deposited so much inside of you, and you can't afford to be a failure. Re-engineer yourself and forge your head. Those who rejected you today, tomorrow they will come and eat your bread. That is my, that is my prophecy over your life. Remember the story of David. He was despised, the least in the family. But he did not allow the hatred, even from the father, to discourage him. Therefore, do not be discouraged. Don't allow the tribulation of life to discourage you. Maximize your potentials. You are a great man, a mighty man of valor. But your inability to see beyond your problem is your problem. Inability to see beyond where you are today is your problem. Remember, there is a place called tomorrow. I love the book of Micah so much. Micah chapter 7 verse 8. The word of God said do not laugh at me, my enemies. Today I am on the ground, but tomorrow I will rise. That is my prophecy for you. I raise my hand over your life as I declare and declare. The grace of God is coming over your life, and you cannot be poor. Somebody shout, I cannot be poor. Repeat, I repeat again, I cannot be poor. Somebody shout, I must be celebrated. Allah must skin the rear. As a man that I hear in my voice, I decree and declare. The world must surely hear of you. Today, I release the grace of greatness upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Or I repeat again, I cannot be poor in the name of Jesus Christ. My children, remember, the crusade is still ongoing here in Scotland. Try and be there. We begin at 11. 
Today, we're going to begin at 11 a.m. in the morning, first session and evening session. We begin at 6 p.m. Try and be there. Miracles are for those who persist. Yeah. The principle of miracle is what we are doing now. You must be an ardent believer and a prayer warrior. The grace of righteousness must be, must be there. My children in America, remember from 23 to 29, I will be in California. Try and be there, my children. If there is someone to pray, there is a God to answer. From 23rd to 30th, uh, to, to 29th, sorry, I will be in California. The program in Scotland will end on Friday. Almighty God be with you, my children.